There is a need to set rules and standards in the forwarding and clearing industry to ensure effective delivery of services that aid trade. There are rules and regulations that apply in the international clearance and forwarding industry. This explains the need to upgrade from the current available certificate to a diploma in clearing and forwarding to group professionalism. <laughs> Charles Mwebembezi, the chairman of Uganda Freight Forwarders Association, also emphasizes the inclusion of women and youth in the logistics sector. And uh, in spite of these challenges, I think we are prepared because we are preparing for the oil and gas, the big business. So everybody is excited about it and that's why actually part of the reason that we are even training because we shall need personnel, we shall need people who are knowledgeable, who are professional, to handle oil and gas. Oil and gas is not like any other business. It is very strict on standards. So unless you are trained and you have professionals, you can't compete. So it is one of the reasons why we are insisting that we should uh, uh, up our, our capacity by making sure that we train and hoping that other areas also will be will, will fall in play. And in terms of efficiency. Now, when you talk of skills in Singapore, even with the, the, what Miriam was talking about, freedom of association, they have three associations. Hussein, am I right? Those three associations, when it comes to say, whom do we send it to theater, they come together. They work together, they collaborate. There is nobody pulling this side. You hear somebody, you want to start a, a diploma course, somebody says, for us, we are not interested. You are not interested in learning. You are not interested in becoming a better person. What are you interested in? So they have three associations, but those associations come together when it comes to matters of the industry. So Singapore today, if you want to do like skilling that we are talking about, you want to be, go and become a welder, they will pay you for going to do that course. You don't pay for the course. They pay you in order to, because they want to encourage you to go and do They pay you to go and do that course. They have put away the, the degrees, they have put away the masters, their own skills. Skills, skills, skills. You know, uh, skills, let me tell you, when I joined Clearing and Forwarding Agents in 1973, we used to go to Mombasa for training. There wasn't a single institution in East Africa. It was hands-on training. Now, when you have learned how to ride a bicycle, even if you don't ride it for 50 years, they give you a, a bicycle for 50 years, you jump on it and you ride it. You can't forget it because it was a hands-on training. Uganda Freight Forwarders Association members contributed over 20% to customs revenue in the preceding financial year. That's according to Abel Kagumire, the Commissioner of Customs at Uganda Revenue Authority. Kagumire says that the diploma comes timely. I believe that this training that we are starting at a diploma level is going to further simplify our work for us who are into regulation. It will make work easy for us. I want to tell you, with your support, we were able to hit and surpass our target as a department. And for me, when I'm celebrating, I know you start the process, so you are part of the contributors of the 8.46 trillion that we collected as the department, we were able to perform at 103.6%. So you see a lot of surplus, 295 billion in surplus. <laughs> Domestic taxes also is, we are still reconciling. There is a possibility that they might reach 100% today. So we want to thank you for your support. Uh, we don't take the credit ourselves. We know you are part of us in this process of collecting revenue. Clearing and forwarding services deal with export and import of goods and consignments, loading, shipping and forwarding of goods. These services are offered by clearing and forwarding company or agents. Pedson Mumbere, Smart 24 TV, Business Today.